Dear students, detailed civil engineering courses like Manual Building Design, Stat Pro, ETAP, SAP, Revert, AutoCAD, Primavera, P6 are available at Civil Engineering Stavan online application app. So download the application from the Google Play Store now. Each course contains 50 plus high quality video contents and free PDFs and exercises and online certification will be provided after completing the course. Course will be available at 67 to 70% discount now and valid up to 6 months. Download Civil Engineering application now from Google Play Store or direct link is available at the description of this video. Try to utilize this offer. In this class, I will explain you complete uh, introduction to the base isolation system and advantages of base isolation system and properties which is considered for the base isolation system by using SAP 2000 software. So base isolation is also one of the most important property generally we will use for decreasing the earthquake loading condition system according to the specifications. Okay. So this is the basic introduction document which is comes under the base isolation system. I will explain you the concepts clearly. So base isolation is nothing but uh, uh, changing the properties of the support condition system under the seismic loading intensity uh, resistance. So you can see this is the general building model which is considered. If I apply the structural load which is related to the uh, lateral load or gravity load for this building structural model, it will deflect definitely in this direction. Okay. So now we can see this is the structural model which is made with the help of the uh, base isolation system and this is the structural model which is made without the base isolation system. Now we can see for this building model at the ground section it was consisting of the fixed support conditions. Now you can see this is the fixed support conditions but here you can see it is consisting of the base isolation system. If you apply the base isolation system if any kind of the seismic load is acting on that particular building then it will be uh, deflect in this left hand side direction but uh, there is no collapse obtained for this building. But when you compare uh, with this bit particular structural model if you apply the seismic loading intensity or other loading condition system, it will definitely deflect here like this. So in order to decrease this particular effect, we are providing the base isolation system for the projects. Okay. So now we can see this is the general reference image which is related to with the base isolation structure and without base isolation system. Okay. So basically base isolations are two types. One is related to rubber base isolation system and friction pendulum system. So uh, from these two methods of the base isolation system, Friction pendulum system will give you the more accurate uh, resistance for the structure than rubber base isolation system. Why? Because the properties which are considered for the friction pendulum system will be more stronger than rubber base isolation system. This is a general footing level which is obtained uh, from the particular structure of rubber base isolation system. Okay. So again in the same process it is consisting of the rubber base isolation uh, properties and components which is consi considered for the projects. Again in the same process. It will be consisting of your, your friction pendulum system here like this. Now we can see this is the friction pendulum cross section and properties which is involved in this. Okay. So these two are very much important for reduction of the seismic loading intensity. The properties will be differ when you uh, compare with the rubber base isolation system as well as the friction pendulum system. So we have to apply those properties instead of applying the fixed support conditions at the base for the building structural model. We will change that particular section to rubber base isolation system or else friction pendulum system depends upon your intensity of the seismic loading action rate. Okay. Some people will apply the rubber base isolation system for less amount of the loading, uh, less amount of the damages for the building structural model in uh, zone 2 or zone 3 condition system. Some people will go with the friction pendulum system if they observed high amount of the deflection for the particular structural model. Okay. In this way you can consider the base isolation system. Now I will show you the properties which is considered for the base isolation system. Click on the properties. Now you can see this is the first one which is comes under the rubber base isolation system properties. So it is consisting of the property like uh, uh, effective stiffness okay, 150 lakhs and non-linear uh, property. This is linear property actually u1 direction which is nothing but the x direction condition and u2 is y direction this is z direction and uh, non-linear property effective stiffness is 800 stiffness is 250, yield strength is uh, 80 and post yield strength is 0 0.1. Again in the same process for the non-linear property also effective stiffness is 800, this is 250, this is 80 and this is 0 0.1. In the same process for the friction pendulum system it is having stiffness is 150 lakhs, effective stiffness is 70, stiffness is 1500. Now we can see here the stiffness value for the rubber base isolation is 250 here and the stiffness value for this particular uh, Friction pendulum system is 1500 because of that reason only 
the resistance for the friction pendulum system will be more okay so friction uh, low cost friction is uh, friction slow uh, cost is 0.03 and friction cost fast is 0.05 rate parameter is 40 and radius of sliding is 2.23 in the same process it is consisting of effective stiffness in u3 direction is 70 stiffness is 1500 uh cost slow 0.03 cost of fast 0.05 rate parameter 40 radius of sliding is 2.23 value here okay we will apply the uh, this properties for the uh, different models like rubber base isolation system model as well as the friction pendulum system model and we will do the analysis process we will check the results according to the analysis process so how to do the rubber base isolation system modeling and how to analyze the particular building structural model using sap 2000 software So here I'm selecting my SAP 2000 software. This is my building model, which is of G plus five building model. I was explained complete concepts related to this building model in previous videos. You can check that uh, videos for the complete uh, modeling process, analysis of the building structural model. Now we can see for this building model, I was applied the fixed supports at the base. So now we have to change that uh, base support, fixed support condition to rubber base isolation system properties. For that, initially we have to define the properties related to rubber base isolation. Go to define option for that. So click on the section properties. In this section properties, it is consisting of link support properties here. Okay. So you can select that particular link support section properties here. Click on add a new property. Now from this we have to select the link support type. Just I am selecting here as rubber isolator. So we will change the property name to rubber base isolation system. now we have to consider the properties so here i am considering this effective stiffness value for the u1 which is approximately equal to 150 lx 150 one, 1 2 3 4 5 can okay option after that we have to select the properties related to u2 direction stiffness is 800 and uh, uh, sorry effective stiffness is 800 stiffness is 250 click on u2 option select non linear property stiffness we have here i am assuming 800 stiffness value here as 250 and we will consider the yield strength value for this yield strength value is 80 and post yield strength is 0.1 so here this is 80 this is 0.1 here click on okay again in the same process we will select the u3 direction click on this non linear property this value is 800 this value is 250 sorry this value is 250 and this is 80 this is 0.1 click on okay option now after this we have to select the okay option for this click on okay now we will apply the properties at that location after defining the rubber base isolation system we have to apply those rubber base isolation system for the model so for the time selecting a uh, view option here set 2d view option so initially i am selecting xz plane which is at this location just i am selecting sorry xz plane just i am selecting at this particular location click on apply option so that it will apply the elevation section now we will select the draw joint link option here we will select here and we will select the property name which is related to rubber base isolation system okay so here we are already defined this select this node point option so that it will draw the uh, properties which is related to rubber base isolation system at this location so in this way you can draw the rubber base isolation system for this particular location here like this again in the same process we will go to the view option set 2d view option now i am selecting this location click on apply now after this we will drag to this model in the front view so that it will apply the rubber base isolation system here again we will go to the view option uh, select to set 2d view option here click on apply now in the same process we will apply the rubber base isolation at this location in the same process we will select the last one click on apply option again i am selecting this rubber base isolation system and rest of the load cases will be same which is related to the dead load consideration live load consideration and seismic load consideration for this model so it, which is similar to that of the regular model okay so i was already applied those load cases i will show you that load cases for this model now we can see it is consisting of a dead load live load and it will be consisting of uh, floor load condition here like this for this model click on okay after this i will select any one of the frame section from this particular model so right click on this option so that it will be consisting of your loads here like this now we will do the analysis process click on run analysis option select the load cases click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process for this building then after that i will show you the results which is related to shear force bending deflection torsion etc for this model so here you can see it was done with 
complete analysis process under the considerations of the rubber base isolation system. Because of the rubber base isolation system, I will show you this in elevation view. Uh, we will consider in XZ plane. So it is deflecting in this direction. It is not having any kind of the deformations. Okay. So actually, if you apply the another loading condition system, it will uh, do the deflection diagram uh, through the uh, diagonal shape. But here it is deflecting in the horizontal direction with some lateral displacement. Okay. If you click on the start animation option, so that it will show you the deflection diagram here like this. Now we can see this is the process of applying the rubber base isolation system under the consideration. Now I will show you the shear force diagram for this building model. Go to display option, show forces, select frame spandrel of force, select your load case or anything, click on apply option so that it will display the shear force diagram. Select moment 3 3 option, click on apply so that it will display the bending moment diagram and click on torsion option, click on apply so that it will display the torsion diagram for this building model by using SAP 2000 software. So in this way, you can apply the rubber base isolation system for the building structural model using SAP 2000 software. So in this class, I will explain you how to define the properties related to friction pendulum system and how to do the uh, analysis process under the considerations of the friction pendulum system using SAP 2000 software. So for that, just I'm selecting my model. I was already done the uh, rubber base isolation system for this model. So initially, I will unlock the model. Firstly, I will delete the rubber base isolation system property. Go to define options, sections, supports, click on select this uh, uh, modify show property. Otherwise, we will add one more property. Then after that, we will delete this property. Okay. So it is not showing any kind of the deleting option regarding that uh, rubber base isolation system because only we have the one property only. So now we will define the friction pendulum system property, which is related to this 15, 150 lakhs and 70, 1500, 0 0.03, 0 0.05, 40, 2.25. So go to define option for that section property, select link support property, click on add a new property. So here we have to select the property name is friction isolator. So friction pendulum system, just I'm selecting here and select the U1, just I'm selecting the properties which is inside in this particular U1 direction. So here I'm selecting this U1 value, which is approximately equal to uh, 15, one, uh, 150 lakhs here, which is of stiffness value, 150 lakhs. So here I am selecting 150 lakhs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Click on OK. Again, we will select the U2 direction. We will change the properties here. So here U2 direction, which is having the stiffness is 70. Just I am selecting here as 70 value for the stiffness. Again, I am selecting effective uh, st stiffness value. So effective stiffness actually it is 70. Now we will select the stiffness value, which is of 1500 and the friction coefficient slow value we have to consider here which is consisting of 0 0.03, 0 0.03 and the next one is we have to assume that uh, fast coefficient value which is of 0 0.05. Again, we will select the rate parameter. This time considering rate parameter is 40 here. Now I am selecting this uh, radius of sliding. Just I am selecting 2.23 value, 2.23. Click on OK option. After that, again, we will select the U3 direction. Click on modify option. Now we will select the stiffness value, which is approximately equal to uh, this value of 70 stiffness value. Effective stiffness value is 70 here. Again, I am selecting uh, stiffness value, which is of 1500 here. And the coefficient, fast to coefficient, we have to assume here as, uh, uh, sorry, cost, uh, cost slow coefficient, we have to assume here as 0 0.03, 0 0.03, and this value is 0 0.05. And we will consider the rate parameter, which is approximately equal to 40. And this last one is 2.23 value. Click on OK option. Again, we will select the OK option. Now we will select the rubber base isolation system. So it is not possible to delete this property. Why? Because we have applied those property. Now we will select the view option here, 2D view option, which is related to this uh, front view direction. Click on apply option. Now you can see it will see the property here like this. Now, so now we will change this rubber base isolation property to friction pendulum system. So now we have to draw this friction pendulum system property at this location. So before that we have to delete this properties which is presented at this location related to rubber base isolation. Go to XY plane view. This time selecting all these node points at the base. Click on delete option so that it will delete the properties at the base. Now we will select the view option set to the view. So here I'm selecting this location, click on apply option so that it will show you the elevation view. Just I'm selecting link option. So we will select the property which is related to friction pendulum instead of rubber base isolation. Just I'm drawing here like this. 
Now we can see it will apply the friction pendulum system. Now again I am selecting this, click on apply. So you can apply here so that it will apply the property here like this. Again in the same process I am selecting here. Click on apply option. So now we will select these two node points which is related to this location. Again I am selecting this point. Click on apply option. Now we will select this points here. Like this so that it will apply the friction pendulum system for this building model. Now we will click on ok option. Click on the cancel option. Now we will do the analysis process for this building model by using SAP 2000 software. Go to click on the run analysis option directly. Click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process for this building model with the considerations of the load cases. So it was done with complete analysis process. I will show you the deflection diagram for this building model under the friction pendulum system isolator. So now I am selecting this. So click on 3D view option. Now we can see this is the uh, diff, uh, sorry uh, torsion diagram which is related to dead load. Go to display if you want to deform shape you can apply the load cases. Click on apply option. Click on ok option so that it will show you the deflection diagram. Because of the presence of the friction pendulum system it is deflecting in this direction. Okay, So now we can see I will show you this deflection once again. Click on start animation option now you can see it is deflecting like this isolator. Okay, In this way you can apply the isolator for this building model. Now I will show you the shear force diagram. Go to display, forces, frames, panel of force, select shear 2 to click on apply option so that it will display the shear force diagram. Select moment 3 3, click on apply so that it will display the bending moment diagram. Click on torsion, click on apply so that it will display the torsion diagram for this building model. So in this way we will apply the friction pendulum system for the base by using SAP 2000 software and we will do the analysis process as per IS code provision standard system.